Hi, second grade. Today is uh, the lesson for math for Tuesday, April the 7th. Okay, it's actually Friday. I'm sitting out on my back deck. The kids are playing and doing some fun stuff. So we're going to take a look at our video for today. Today we're talking about measuring in feet and yard. Okay, so bring our video up. Foot and yard. We are going to look at more ways to measure using inches. We can measure in feet. A foot is equal to 12 inches. We can also measure in yards. A yard is equal to 36 inches. Sometimes we need to measure in feet. Other times we need to measure in yards. It all depends on what you are measuring. These children are measuring a rug. I have one yardstick, which is one yard. I have three rulers equaling three feet. My three feet equal your one yard. They need more feet or rulers to measure the rug than yards or yardsticks. Do you think we will need more yards or feet to measure a school bus? We need more yards to measure a school bus. To measure a desk, do we need more yards or feet? We need more feet to measure a desk. All righty, so that's our math lesson for today. We're talking about measuring in feet and yards. And so once you've watched that, you're going to actually do some measuring. So in Seesaw, Here's our activity. It's all set to, to fall into your inbox at 7 o'clock. Remember, you click the Add Response button. Okay? And here is your paper. Okay? Look familiar? Looks like your math paper, doesn't it? All right, so if we take a look here, it says find the object, estimate the length, and measure each object in feet or yards. Well, look at what I can do here. I think that book that book if i if i press the text bar that book is probably about one foot so now what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to make this I'm going to move my box make it a little bit smaller so it fits on the line yes my my dear old eyes will probably be able to read that i'm going to move this guy over here and then look i've answered my first question and then you're going to actually take a ruler out and measure it, okay? It doesn't need to be a school textbook. It can be any book, okay? And then a swing set. Now, if you don't have a swing set, you can't measure it. We can't go to parks. We can't go outside and, and go to somebody else's house and do that. So for a swing set, all you need to do is put about how many yards you would think that would be. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one with you here as well. I think that one would probably be, if I really think about it, that one looks pretty big. I would say three yards. Okay, so once again, make my box a little bit smaller to fit on the line. Move that guy down here. And looky there. There's my answer. Now there's, if you have a swing set, measure it. Okay, now these ones you can measure. Okay, about how many yards do you think your car is, or your parents' car? A football, if you don't have a football, just do a regular playground ball, okay? What about a mailbox, okay? And then number six, the sidewalk from Amelia's house to her driveway is 96 inches long. How many feet long is the sidewalk? We'll go ahead and measure that. And then the vocabulary check, circle the correct answer. One foot, well, looky here, if I go down here and I pick my pencil, one foot is the same as, well, circle the correct answer, a foot. That would be 12 inches, so then we circle that. And then you go up here to your handy-dandy green box, click it, and you're all done with math for today. Okay, the only other math homework you have is your 15 minutes of fact fluency, so make sure you're getting that done. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.